Dick story. Is this real life? Is this, this a just fantasy? a fantasy? <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh fucking hell. Anyway, um, sorry. What were you saying? Anyway, <laughs> about the, if, uh, Leo. We we're just looking at that picture. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Where's it gone? Uh, but you were just about to say something. Well, now I forgot what it was. I don't know. Well done. <laughs> uh, you were waiting for something uh, to come out. You had pre-ordered something. That was it. I pre-ordered something. No, I don't pre-order. Oh, Jesus, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. You pre-ordered, or you bought something, or something's being shipped here, or something Jared, like that. Jared, we have so much to talk about that I can't like just like you know. So it's one of many, many, many things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it's how your gone. brain works. <laughs> things just it's bubble to the away. surface randomly. You can only like pick from the top quickly, or it's gone forever. Oh, I know what it was. It's come back up, Jared. <laughs> what was? I can't it? wait to get my my new CPU and motherboard so Ooh. that I can run Arma properly <laughs> without being bottlenecked like a motherfucker. And uh, could you could you tell me again what CPU and motherboard this was? Uh, ooh, the motherboard I am getting is the Asus yeah. Deluxe, and it's got like a it's got a Wi-Fi dongle on it. It's called Wi-Fi Go, and it has it does speeds of up to it's, it's a special you know like wireless in. Yeah, it's like really fast wireless. Uh, but this is wireless AC, so right. it can go up to like seven or eight hundred MBs a second. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to agree to this stuff, by the way. I'm I'm sure yeah. you know what you're talking about. So yeah. <laughs> go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nods. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all of that <laughs> shit. Yeah, everything you just said, fucking have it nailed down. Well, I, 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 I got right, I have my Ethernet plugged into my computer. Yeah. And so I don't really need the Wi-Fi thing, but what I'm going to do is use it as a hotspot. And. The hotspot is going to output the, the Wi-Fi, so everything in my house will be connected to my computer rather than my router, which isn't a great router to begin with. Right. And for stuff like this new Steam OS, I, I think it could be handy for like streaming games into the sitting room or something straight from Directly. the source rather than yeah, uh, straight from the source rather than going through a router and stuff. So, and the great I, thing about uh, that is like because it's coming locally, you know, you're not going to yeah, have the yeah. latency issues of like online or not. anything. Well, there's going to be some. I don't some, see, I don't see I that much information. Now. Like, it's like nobody really knows, I suppose, at this point. But, well, yeah, hopefully it'll be better than putting it through. I, I can't imagine it being worse than putting it through the router, anyway. Well, it's all still fairly new kind of tech, isn't it? Like, <laughs> you know, I know people have been able to do this for a while, but it's only, like, now that people have really been, you know, tinkering with it. And that, I think that's the whole uh, thing with the SteamOS announcement there. You know, like that people have now enough people are using this kind of technology already that, you know, there's going to be not just the company's knowledge base, but a lot of public knowledge base people out there, because that's the big thing with Valve. They want like not just them to be the ones telling you what the crack is. They want like it's like make stuff for yeah. the games and sell them here like Steam OS hackable, you know, the new controller and it's all hackable, the Steam box, it's whatever the hell you want, you know, <laughs> like so I, I think, you know, par they could have announced this. Uh, a while back, Steam OS and Steam Box. In fact, Steam Box was pretty much announced. Before. Cool, they were making pretty big hints at it. Yeah. Well, like look at the XI3 thing. Well, maybe not the Steam OS, but the Steam Box. Is, well, no, yeah, the OS. Is, no is interviews. Yeah, like yeah. the OS. Like I, I think, um, I think we were definitely talking about an OS at some point. Yeah. We were. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure there was a little bit of buzz around it because I, I thought back then, yeah, it's a genius idea if they could just get everything to work on it. And it, it it does seem not premature, but like it kind of sucks when you hear like, well, three hundred and four games of the three thousand games on Steam run natively in Steam OS. <laughs> you know, that's a little disheartening to hear. That doesn't seem like a great number. And you yeah. know, the whole the whole streaming thing. I I I, th I think actually we should, we should explain for you know somebody who hasn't heard uh, Steam OS, Steam Box, and yeah, Steam start Controller. from the beginning. Yeah. Um, Steam, earlier... Th hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello and welcome to the badge. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're a bit past that now, I think. <laughs> but, um, we're start, we're rewind. We're, we're <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Willie, anyway, we were just looking at this picture, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, but okay, so last week, Steam OS, Steam Machines, not Steam Box, Steam Machines, 
and the new Steam trackpad controller were announced as a trio of reveals during the week. Which I think was quite, you know, was quite genius in and of itself because they totally got a lot of hype out of it by letting people think it was another thing that goes to three, <laughs> you know? Three announcements. <laughs> three announcements, eh? Hmm. You Underlining know, three. Everybody was looking forward to Ricochet too, man. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, no, so SteamOS, first and foremost, it's a Steam operating system based in Linux and uh, it'll run on pretty much any device. I'm not too sure about touchscreens or phones now, but I reckon that's in the pipeline if it's not already considered. Uh, but it will run on any other machine, like a PC, these new Steam machines, which are basically small PCs, like modular PCs, whatever. Like, uh, hell, like I'm pretty sure this could work if you were able to hack another kind of console, like an Xbox or something. If you were able to, you could probably get SteamOS to work on that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the hardware. Uh, you don't know about that kind. Of, not, not Xboxes and stuff. Oh, well, okay, maybe, maybe not then. But other, PC. other stuff like you know, anything yeah. you can get like Linux or Windows to run on, you can get SteamOS to run on anyway. So. That was the first reveal. The second reveal was the Steam Machines, which were, you know, basically basically consoles. They're not consoles. They're small PCs, but they're small PCs that are basically consoles. And they're for use... And upgradable. Yeah, and upgradable. They're modular, so you can upgrade them. Well, well, not all of them will be, I imagine. The announcement said that several companies were working on them, and that so Valve, have, on it, yeah. Valve have one of their own. Um, they're probably going to be modular. I imagine they're going to be rather iterative, uh, iterative as well. Like, if you look at the Ooh, Ooh Yeah, like, they're like, oh, yeah, we want to release it like the iPhone Don't every year. Don't talk about that. Oh, my God. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, with the, the Ooh Yeah is like, Ooh like yeah. the iPhone or the iPad. We want to release iterative versions every year or whatever. I imagine the same thing will happen with Steam machines. You'll just get, you know, whatever developer making a machine, and then, like, every now and then they might, you know, oh, well, now we've got, like, you know, our machine Pro, now our machine Pro X, and, you know, that sort of shit, like they do with the iPhone. I, I hope it doesn't go like that, though. Oh, I reckon like some companies will. I hope I reckon... it's not going to be multiple different companies with multiple different Steam boxes. That's going to be. But no, but you see, but you see, it's it's not really because the the way I've been looking at it is, the Steam OS is going to be your console now. Like that's that's your thing. The hardware you play it on is whatever you choose, and you be you could probably go out and you'll probably be able to buy a modular one if you want, one that you can upgrade over time, one that you can like you can buy a basic set and then put in custom parts yourself or whatever. I imagine there'll be like there'll be one like that, and then there'll be like other ones which are like okay, this is like this version of of the Steam machine we make, and this is the version for this year. Next year there'll be a different one. It'll be able to play yeah. more games. You'll be able to get like economy versions, which will be able to play like all indie games, say like all two D indie games or whatever, or Minecraft that sort of shit. And then you might be able to get like way more expensive ones that'll play like all triple A's with like all your fucking settings on ultra and all that. You, you know, you know. Like I, I imagine we're going to see multiple different ones, and the market is just going to be divided into people going to whichever ones they want. It's like you can't afford much, get. One one of the cheaper ones. Well, that sounds crazy, you know? though. But it's gonna split up way too much. No, but you see, like, it's, it's not know, really. Wanna, that's just yeah. customization. That's all. Just you see, know. if you think about it in computer parts, think of it like all yeah. different kind of computer parts. It's just you're gonna find the configuration you want. If you're lazy, you'll buy a pre-made one. If you're into, you know, PC or well, these boxes as an enthusiastic, you know, as a hobby or whatever. You know, you're going to get one of the more modular ones, ones that you can replace it with. So I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Because you'll have the Steam, sa- same Steam account, the same know. Steam I, I think if it goes that way, I think if there's multiple different pay- companies making multiple different boxes, I think it's just going to get confusing and it's not going to be... I, I don't, I'm not considering it like a console, so don't get me wrong, but I, I, I think it should be way simpler than that. And I think there should be just like a, a, a low-end medium and then a high end and I'd say probably the most because I'm looking at this as an add-on to my PC mm. rather than something totally separate I like if I was even getting something like this, the Steam machine I would probably straight away go for the low end because mm. I already have my game in PC yeah I agree I do, I, I do the I, same I, thing and I want the low end to just stick in the sitting room and this is this is what Steam want this is what they want you to do they want you to be able to play in your sitting room, play wherever you want. So you get your low-end Steam machine, you put it in your sitting room. You can play Linux games on it uh, natively if you're if it's 
powerful enough to play yeah. just fucking shitty little indie games or whatever. And if you want to play other games, you can stream it straight off your PC in your kitchen or wherever well, the fuck you are. Some, your... There hmm. are some good games now on Linux. Like when I say good games, I mean like good from a hardware point oh, yeah, of view. Oh yeah, and like, there's, you know, go, there's going to be more and more and more. I know, yeah. I, I agree. But I don't think there's any point actually at the minute getting anywhere near a, a, have a, a high end Steam. Oh no, I, I know, I, I agree. I, I'm saying like that's probably what's going to happen. Like that, yeah. that will happen. Oh, yeah, truth, because yeah. you can install Windows on these machines as well. Oh, you can if you want. But who's going to buy that and then pay a hundred quid for put Windows on it? Look, Isn't look, it? you know someone's going to do that. You, <laughs> you just know. It's like I'm just after installing Windows Eight okay, on well, my uh, Steam uh, machine. Well, okay, I, I take it back. You probably don't have to pay for Windows, not necessarily, but still, I, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't imagine people buying a high end. Uh, Steam box, maybe I don't know. I, I'd say, if it, like, I would be more interested later on on buying a high end Steam box if it meant that I had like a nice small portable Steam account that I could bring elsewhere. Because a lot of friends of mine, they're not PC gamers, like with you solar know. panels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with solar panels. I'm not saying bring it camping. <laughs> this Mind is about- like portable <laughs> backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, so no, I mean like bring it over to a friend's house. I got a lot of a friends. Portable who, projector. <laughs> yeah, and a, ma- a massive portable screen, <laughs> portable aerial as well. In fact, I just have a server room in it. But anyway, so um, <coughs> the uh, the thing is, like, I, I got a lot of friends who they don't use, they don't play on PC. You know, they play consoles, and when they do, they just play a lot of triple A's and stuff. You know, big yeah. things like a lot of them right now are playing GTA Five. <laughs> so, but um, like this would be the perfect thing for me to share What's games that, game? that I, I actually play. GTA Five. I don't know. I think it's something to do with Saints Row Four. It's like an add-on or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this would be the perfect thing uh, for me to like bring to them or like just have yeah. them around to play to play on. You log in straight away. Or because I log in straight away. I have all my library there, and this brings us into the third announcement: the controller. I can actually play with it. These people have no idea how to use a mouse and keyboard. I have one friend there, he like has like, literally maybe used a mouse in college. He has a laptop, so he's used to using a trackpad. And he's yeah. like he doesn't he can he doesn't know how to play games on his computer. And well he has a Mac, so who wants to play games on that? But the point is, like, if I want to play something with him, you know, we're sitting around and you're like, ah oh, here you wanna play something. Can't really play something on the PC, you know, unless one has got a controller yeah. and one's got mouse and keyboard and it doesn't work too well. But like this way, like, you know, the new Steam controller looks great. I like I like the idea of it. I think it's I think it's not going to be amazing at first. It's going to be alright, but if they get like if they can work on it a bit more, like um Yeah. Do something well, this with is the the thing. Bed, they're, they're, they're looking for feedback of developers and uh, beta testers and all this kind of stuff. So yeah. What you see now could be completely different by the time it comes out. Well, I read an article there about uh, what's his name? It's like Tommy Rafain or, or Rafens or Meat Boy, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, the Meat Boy programmer guy. Uh, he uh, demoed it, and he was like yeah, saying, he was saying so. it's good. I can play Meat Boy on it, and I can play you know these yeah. other games. And he was like, it's grand, but at the moment, I would still go for the 360 controller. And now, mm-hmm. like personally, the 360 controller is my favorite controller there has ever been, and I've yeah. used most controllers. And the 360 one is just, it fits in the hands perfectly. The, yeah. the sticks are in a great place, you know. Apparently, it's, the new one isn't great. Uh, I wouldn't be one. surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, I just I would not be surprised anymore. Than Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway here's the um, good thing how do we fuck it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly I'm pretty sure that's how it goes in, in their HQ but anyway um, the, so, so like yeah I love the 360 controller myself as well and like he said there uh, when he was asked about it the Tommy Ruffin guy uh, if that's his name uh, he said um, you know I, I would prefer to use the 360 now but that comes from experience because apparently the trackpads are a bit weird to use even though you do have some feedback I'd imagine so yeah Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Like, his idea was to have, like, a small little bit of a nipple in the center or something so you could reconfigure yeah. where your fingers were, which I think is it's not a bad idea. It's kind of yeah. like um, on your keyboard, you know, you get stuff on the F and some other key to tell you where to center your fingers for typing, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I reckon iteration will will do well with this. But I'm, li- I'm liking the idea. Like, 
they say you can play 4X space games on on that controller. Like, strategy games, or yeah, games. Uh, like, yeah, it does look like there's an awful lot of buttons on it, right? There's about the same uh, as, as an Xbox 360 controller, but you can... You like the touch screen and stuff, and uh, the actual D pads. You can you can, uh, you can change them all, or not the D pad, or the the fucking sensor things. Uh, the track if you include all the buttons there, well, there's quite a lot of buttons. There's 16 buttons. I was reading this. There's 16 buttons, eight of which yeah. are reachable without taking your fingers off the track pads. Now the track pads themselves are buttons, and the touch screen in the center during a game will be split into four buttons. Now mm. since they say the controller is hackable, and as you were saying earlier when we were talking on Steam that uh, you like the idea of being able to, you know, download your own configurations and stuff. Yeah, that's probably the best idea coming out of it. So those four buttons that are in the center, that could be, that may change, you know? Um, But the thing, the thing is like, the, the the controller, it looks weird as shit. And I just wonder, are people really going to, because I like the I love the idea of it. I like the idea of using. I said, well, I said, it looks like the back of the controller. It does, yeah. Yeah, it, is, it looks quite weird. I was reading but as I, well, actually. Sorry, on the just before we get off yeah. of the buttons, that um, I, I saw a lot of people saying, "How the hell are you meant to play fighting games?" Well, uh, I saw somebody else who had a hands-on with it. He had said that um, the trackpads can be configured into different sections, like buttons, and when you press it, it mm. is similar to a button press. So you you should be able to play fighting games on there fine, but then again you can use it as a look around in a first person shooter or whatever you know it's. I don't. I'd I, love to know how it, I, nobody seems to have men- mentioned racing games or any kind of driving games or anything like who that. Who plays those? That'd be. <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> Willie, uh, before we started talking, was playing a racing game. <laughs> uh, so. Project Cars has got really good lately. I've heard. Uh, I've heard. I've, I've, I've just like I've only been playing. It I haven't played it in a long time. I just got back into it there. I was only playing it today. I was playing mm-hmm. it for a couple of, and the online is savage. But anyway, sorry, back. I'll get to that later. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the controller. All right, uh, yeah, the best thing I think about the controller is definitely the configurable things that you'd be able to, like, look at your library for, and then click on armor and then workshop or whatever and fucking download configurations for your controller. Yeah. I'm going to buy one. But I'm gonna buy one, but mainly because it's wireless. Because I I want a wireless controller, and the 360 one I have at the minute is wired. Um, I don't know. So I've had bad experiences. I'm eventually gonna fall past. off my chair or something, choke myself, and fucking wires <laughs> around my t- <laughs> It's like, of course, a Microsoft product killed him. <laughs> Between a headphone and 360 controller, <laughs> so something's gonna something's gonna end bad there. <coughs> is that is that how it went? It's like first they were like, you know, we got this good thing going. How can we fuck it up? And then they're like, you know what? We've got customers as well. How can we murder them? <laughs> Wired Xbox controllers. That's how. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm gonna get one as well just because I love the idea. Um, and well, I want to try one out before I buy. You know, and I might not buy first generation ones because generally, first generation stuff has a habit of being replaced rather quickly. You know. Yeah. Um, well, when it comes well, to, I'm gonna buy something. mainly because it's wireless and because it comes from Valve, and it's hardware from Valve. It's the I only know. hardware from Valve, so I know. I'm like, okay, I, I kind of want that. <laughs> I, same as, but I, I kind of want to restrain myself on it because, to be honest with you, I want a fucking Oculus Rift more than I want that controller. So yeah. 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 Oh, I want one too. Oh man, everybody's reaction I see on a rift is just like, oh my god, that's amazing. Like, I've seen one woman fall down over. She must have fucking unplugged everything on the way down. Because <laughs> she, just, she just fell and just landed on the floor. And yeah, I, I, heard, I heard you have to be sitting down to it when you try it first because you, you won't know where you are. Yeah. So you have to imagine, sit down yeah. or you'll just fall. But yeah. Actually, who's gonna be standing up with that anyway? Well, you're if, you're, if you're if you're in the omnidirectional treadmill, I suppose yeah. Mm. Ah, you didn't think of that, man. No. There's so much cool technology on the way. <laughs> Steam machines, the Steam controller, Oculus Rift, omnidirectional treadmill. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's I been like a good it. week. It has been a good week. Well, <laughs> those other things we've known for about for a while. The the treadmill and the rift but the other stuff yeah. the, now that, that was something I wanted to say 
The way the reveals went, they had the reveals in three sections. Which is shit. No, 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 no. See, there is... I already said, right, that they... Um, they kind of were banking on the hype from... It could be Half-Life 3. Oh, my God. Probably, yeah, trolling. You know? Oh, man, of course. Hey, we but, be trolling. But not just that. The thing about this is, right, they've announced each thing separately because... Look at the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 announcements. Now, let's get away from the fact that this won't be a competing machine for a while with those. You're going to need a PC. That's the entry fee for this. You're going to need a PC for this really to work as a competitor to them. So it's not really a competitor yet. It's just, like, something to get more people on there. Now, the thing is, though, um, they really announced these as three separate things. That's because they are separate things. You don't actually need to use each of these together. They could have gone and announced, like the Xbox and yeah, PS4, yes, is like, our new OS, and here's our machine, and the controller for it. But they didn't. Yeah. They only did a separate announcements because they're trying to get across the fact that, look, this is all separate shit. You don't need, to, if you want to use the controller and don't want to use the other things, go right ahead. If you want to use Steam OS on your computer and not bother yeah. with the box of the controller, go for it. If you want to use a Steam machine and put fucking Windows 95 on it, go for it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, that'd be that'd be that'd be interesting. <laughs> Gotta give that a go. That's a circle jerk. <laughs> like, ah, I bought this steam machine. I, I haven't installed Windows ninety five. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like like that's the point. Like if they had announced all these together, they would have had in the public eye straight away that these are all the one thing. And, like, for yeah. a lot of people, they kind of are the one thing. It's like, oh, Steam made a bunch of reveals. But they're not. And that's that's the thing. Like, the new Xbox controller. Like, yeah, they showed you the controller with the console and everything. Will you be able to use that controller on the PC? No. You won't, yeah. probably. You know, the, the OSs that they use, you know, when they were announcing the, the three OS things running so that you can have several apps running on the Xbox at once. Will any of those be able to run on your computer? Well, um, no, you can't use them as that, as their specific gaming OSs. However, you know, apparently they're the, going to be the most easy to emulate, <laughs> so, wait. Yeah. But, you know... What are like, Microsoft at, in fairness? Jesus. I think I think Microsoft's too big these days. They're just... One side of the company probably doesn't know what the other side's doing. You know? Like, they're... Because you got, like, all the Windows guys, and then you got, yeah. like, the Xbox side, you know? And it's like, are they really collaborating here? Microsoft could do some amazing shit between Windows and Xbox. Oh, God. They, they really could. Imagine imagine if they did, like, imagine they came out with this Steam OS thing, but it was just, like, the micro OS, and it was the same thing yeah, as the Steam Yeah, and you could Steam use it right on the now. Xbox, you could, use, you could it use it on the your computer, and it's just a gaming OS. Holy shit, that would be amazing. Because then... Because then you'd have the whole library already there. You'd be able to run all yeah. the titles. And it's like, holy crap. Like, that would have been fucking amazing. There's so amazing. much shit that they could do between... But they don't because the they want something. they want X amount of control over their products. Because uh, I look the way they probably think of it is like you know we have these numbers saying this will do this for us and any backlash they get or whatever uh, well as we saw this year they went back on their whole like Xbox One policies like what a month after the reveal <laughs> but hey you know so that goes to show is like they don't actually know what they're doing anymore if they were able to crack like under that kind of pressure instead of going no we're going to stick with it you're going to see this is basically yeah. Steam in a box if they had done that you know that would have. You know, I would have thought, okay, they they think they know what they're doing. That's fair enough. Now I think, guys, what do you yeah. what do you you don't you don't know. You really don't know, do you? You're kind of trying. You're stabbing in the dark with innovation here. You know, yeah. they're trying to innovate, and it's just it's not. Now they're just gonna lose the whole lot. Man, and they don't. They're not bothered. They don't see it that way right now at the minute until they actually have no one using their computers for games at all. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, as well, right? Uh, do you know why Valve was founded? Have you right. read that story? No, uh, well, I, maybe, I don't know. I watched this uh, interesting talk from uh, Gabe Newell once. He was at, like, some university in Texas or something, and he was just talking about gaming as an industry. He does a lot of those, but anyway, yeah. They're, they're pretty interesting, you know? <laughs> I, I like... I like uh, he's, he's got a nice way of, like, getting things across, you know? He's, yeah. he's pretty good at it. But uh, he was saying that he founded Valve because he was working for Microsoft at the time. Now, this was like... Oh, I don't know when Valve were founded... But this was, this was in the '90s, sometime anyway, and yeah. uh, he had to do a software survey, see uh, what the most popular software was, uh, what what was the most popular software installed on computers around the world, 
And it turned out that whatever Windows at the time, 95 or 93 or whatever it was, found out that that mm-hmm. was number two. What was yeah. number one? Do you know? Any guesses? Mm-hmm. No. Doom. What? Doom. As an OS. No, not as an OS. The mo- in oh, software. Well, piece of software. Yeah, okay, right, okay, piece fine. of software. Doom was the most <laughs> installed program in the world at the time, according to the survey yeah. he did, with Windows coming in second. So that's why he founded Valve. <laughs> but surely you had to have Windows to download, to play Doom. What? No, 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 because there would have been, like, you know, stuff like, I don't know, maybe DOSBox. I don't know if that counts yeah. as a Windows OS, does it? I don't know. But there'd be other yeah. stuff, I'm sure. But, um... Like like I said, it was Windows 93 or Windows 95. It was the thing he found was the second most installed. Yeah. So maybe DOSBox or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know for sure. But, yeah. um, but I think it's funny now, because he's come out with an OS now that is basically... You you mm. could have this installed on anything. There's no entrance fee, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I uh, it's it's nice to see that kind of that kind of you know keep, keeping it for the games. It, it seems to be always the thing with Valve. Yeah, they're a company and they want to make money, but it's you know it's I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm kind of rambling right now. So <laughs> will he jump in at any time? Uh, I was I was intent on leaving you there. Uh, struggling, you. drowning <laughs> in your own urine. <laughs> Not again. God. <laughs> the fourth uh, time this week. But uh I think an even bigger right, we we'll move away from I think we'll move away from the team for a little bit. Because I think there was an even bigger announcement this week. There was. Uh potentially bigger. Uh, it's, potentially well, bigger, yeah. Right now it's kinda nobody majorly on about it, but AMD announced this thing called Mantle, which is a renderer comparable to the likes of DX11 or DX, whatever you fucking call it, any of the DXs. And basically, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a what do they call it? Low to the metal or something. Did you read that article? I did, yeah. You did, yeah, okay. <laughs> Continue, um, I'm going to let you flounder in your own pace as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> Right, so it's it's low to metal, as in it doesn't have uh, all the complicated stuff that DX has to do because DX is backwards compatible. It can play games from like fucking fifteen, well, okay, whatever, ten years ago, mm. all the way up to now. But that leaves DX being very heavy on your computer, and you don't well, get isn't much there also you possibly could. Isn't there also something to do with the way DirectX? Yeah, there's so many abstractions off of D- DirectX. Yeah, that yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. Between yeah. the CPU and given it and the graphics memory. Yeah, uh, it's basically orders between that. And there's so there's not enough. It doesn't do enough, basically. And this thing called Mantle does quite a lot. It, it like I think it's like nine times more draw calls. That's what they call it. Uh, between no, there's nine times more draw calls than the likes of DX. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you can look up whatever that means. I I don't know. It's fucking. Uh, There's nine uh, times more though. That's all you need to know. Nine times more of a, of thing. a thing. That's amazing. Well, I heard I heard a quote saying that it's like having graphic cards from from uh, 2018 and having them now. So it could be if if what they're saying is true, it's going to be like really big. Mm. But it lo- right here's the thing. So. Mantle obviously isn't going to work on every single game unless they port it over to it. Yeah. And the first game that's going to deal with that is Battlefield 4. And, uh, well, there was a quote there the other day saying that Battlefield 4 will run uh, faster than a GTX Titan uh, on a 790 from AMD, which is mm. quite a big thing because like, a Titan costs like a thousand quid. Mm. And the 790 is hopefully going to cost around 500. So it's like twice the performance for half the money. Like. Mm. Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's good science. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, right. So that's going to be the first game. And not only right is it good for PCs, it's going to be. You see, AMD took over the consoles. They they, they won the console race. Mm. They're supplying all the GPUs to Xbox and PlayStation Three. So this mantle can run on both Xbox and PS Three, and now PC. So it leaves the whole kind of porting thing very easy. So. If developers are making a game for PlayStation 3 and Xbox and they couldn't really care about PC, it's not going to take... Well, it's not going to be fucking 
walk on the park like, but it's going to be a lot easier to port your game from PlayStation or Xbox over to PC without much of a hassle. It'll be a bigger hassle to do it onto DX or uh, what's that? OpenGL, yeah. OpenGL, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's gonna. It's not good for Nvidia though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that said though, what was that thing earlier? What was it again? I can't. I've forgotten again. <laughs> There was a thing uh, we were talking about earlier, the uh, NVIDIA thing. Somebody was saying that apparently oh, yeah, NVIDIA yeah, have yeah. some amazing thing. You're my twain. Is it, is it twain? I think it's twain. 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 <laughs> Shania choo, twain. Choo. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on the twain. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, uh, the Unreal Engine. Yeah. He said, that, yeah, there's something big coming from NVIDIA. I don't know what that is. It mightn't have anything to do with this at all. But well, well, like you know, to... we already kind of have their shield announcement and stuff. So unless it's like something along those lines, it's like some sort of hardware outside of a graphics yeah. card or something. Unless see, I'm, I'm I'm not see. This is why I want to sell my card. I will. I probably will unless the video come out with a fucking hail mary or something. <laughs> but um. I can't see a way out for the video out of this. If this gets big, the video are done. Um. Especially Unless if, uh, they hoard themselves out to well, AMD. People were, saying actually, people were saying actually that they might just drop the graphics cards for the enthusiasts and go for workstations. So you have CUDA and all that kind of stuff, yeah. you know? The, the the workstation cards, which are basically the same as regular graphics cards, but don't tell anyone. Shh. <laughs> um, they might concentrate on that a bit more. But you see, I don't like that because that. I like competition. You know, yeah. but how are they going to compete with that? I don't know. Right, I don't. Appa- know. Apparently, this mantle is open, but so is uh, physics, <laughs> and that goes pretty good on yeah. uh, AMD cards. <laughs> that is one thing. Like, what are fucking AMD? Okay, so they got mantle, but they're not going to have something like physics. I mean, no, they could come to some agreement where it's like, right, we will let you use physics on your AMD cards. You let us. Work with mantle. I doubt that. Worked out. I, I, any day of the week, I'd take 30, 40 frames a second over physics. Hey, look, so. I don't have physics, so I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, I, and like, quite Sparkies. frankly, quite frankly, I Chloe's. don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hey, they'll do something. Nvidia will do something. Nvidia have been around for long enough that I imagine they have something. Strange planned as well. This seems to be the year of weird tech. So it really does. Like compared to most other years, we're starting to see like in the PC and it, well, in the gaming space in general, we're just seeing yeah. weird shit happen. Like not weird, but like we're seeing like new technology that has been developed over the last few years starting to be integrated into like more commercial products rather than being a thing out there in the hardware ether that like only enthusiasts know about. And like it's like who fucking knows what they're going to come out with now. You know, yeah. like honestly, they could come out with fucking some crazy piece of hardware that we never knew we needed until it came out. You know, so yeah. I don't know. Like we should just wait and see. Like by the end of the year, if they haven't really announced anything or haven't really hinted at anything, yeah, that's fair enough. You know, <laughs> but both, both of these announcements are ten years old. Whatever happened to that Steam OS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that mantle. Jesus, that was crazy. We can nothing come. Out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking, that was all the rage there for a while, but then none. <laughs> so, uh, like, like we don't know for sure. They say the Steam OS is going to be available soon. Like, okay, that's fair enough, but the Steam machines, no idea when they're going to be available. Like, uh, yeah, but Valve saying soon could be fucking five years' time. Look, so. I've already <laughs> resigned it to, like, 2015, so... But, like, I, ima- I imagine we might see the Steam OS soon, soon enough. Like, in the next six months, eight months, I reckon we might see it. Um, very beta or alpha version of it, at the very least. But a workable yeah. one. I imagine they're, like, they're really... They really want to get... Like, they're probably aiming this whole, like, thing to hit, like, property around the two-year console mark when Mm. the console's been around for about two years and, you know, they're starting to stagnate just a small bit because... Well, no, about the two-year mark, you get some of the best games out, but then they hit that point where they start to stagnate a bit because it gets very hard for developers to make, you know... I'm just going off previous console history, by the way. Like, it is altogether possible that somehow, by some freaking miracle... The consoles are going to be running perfectly for years to come. I doubt it. I doubt it highly. 
fucking 30 frames per second on Xbox. Yeah, you're lucky with more yeah. modern games to be getting that. You know, and... And what that new game from Ubisoft, what's it called? Uh, Watch Dogs. The ha- Watch Dogs, that's running at 30 frames. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, 30 frames a second. Don't know if it's 1080p or not, but like 30 frames a second. Oh, I don't think it's 1080 I think it's only 720. Oh, actually more than that. I, 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 I'm not, I don't care. But like I said, 30 <laughs> frames a second. Like. I know, but... Like yeah, like yeah. I like my computer doesn't run at sixty, but it runs at about well not for everything some things it does, but like mo- like if I'm not running at sixty, I'm never usually below around forty five, and like yeah. when I go drop below that, I start noticing it and getting annoyed. So you know thirty FPS like it's just it's like come on it's borderline man. come on in this day and age come on come on more than thirty <laughs> FPS. <please. sighs> That's the thing I hate about the consoles, the fact that, like, I wouldn't actually mind, like, I'm, st- I'm probably end up going to buy them eventually, but I, 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 like, I like having a console. The only thing is now that SteamOS and all this shit has come out, it's like, I can have a console, I can have that console experience and not have a console. <laughs> I'll collect the console just to have the console because I like collecting consoles, but that'll be it. I'll never also, play. bear in mind, you're going to have 4K resolution soon enough. Yeah. Or, well, okay, it's a bit expensive now at the minute, but... Two or three years time, yeah. two or three years time, we're gonna be getting 4K monitors and PS4, and Xbox is gonna be <laughs> isn't gonna be handling that. No, it doesn't. Well, no apparently they can handle it, it, but they're not gonna be playing games with 4K res. It depends on the game. If it was a 2D game, maybe. But why would you play a 2D <laughs> game of 4K res? <laughs> <laughs> I get a want want to be one good looking. I can't see game. my main character. <laughs> it's just a fucking pixel. How'd you playing Mario on the NES on 4K Res? <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. That would be amazing. I'm gonna try that sometime. But anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, oh, there's so much cool shit coming. I wonder exa- exactly as well how well the Rift is going to work with the new consoles. Like the Rift is going to work fine with PC stuff, but is it going to work with the new consoles at all? Because that could be a saving grace. Sony are going to release uh, their own version of a uh, VR. Oh, of that never came to, though. That was supposed to be a Tokyo game show. They were supposed to announce that, but nothing nothing happened. So. Well, look, know. have they announced anything about The Last Guardian yet? Probably fucking not. So yeah. if you want... that supposed to go last gen? <laughs> Dude, that was probably meant to come out like during the <laughs> Sega era. <laughs> Let me see. Let me just Google it. Last Guardian news. See if there's any new news I haven't seen about it. Um, what the last one came out on PS2, wasn't it? The last, first the one. last, the, the, yeah, there was there was only one of them, isn't there? Well, no, the team we were doing it, Team Ico, they're all, they're yeah. a subsidiary of Sony, I think they are, or they're hired by Sony, or whatever. But they made Ico and uh, yeah. Shadow of the Colossus on yeah. PS2. So this is the next one, is it? And this is like the next. It's not like they're not like. They're, they they kind of share a common world sort of, yeah. but they're not really sequels or anything. But yeah, this so they didn't do anything on the last gen. <laughs> no, <laughs> they didn't do anything. They, they were working on. on. They were working on it. They... <laughs> and I wouldn't mind the trailer for a came out fucking years ago. But the, see, the problem is, I think what happened was right. Now this this may sound like a crackpot theory, but this is what I reckon happened. When they released the trailer, I don't know if you've ever seen the trailer. At the time, yeah, it was very, yeah, very, yeah, 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 very, very pretty. A, a boy dog and a, thing, isn't it? Yeah, dog, dragon, sort of. Yeah. Game. Well, as soon as that trailer came out, literally everyone said, oh, no, no, literally everyone said, I know how the game's going to end. Either the child dies or the dragon thing dies. <laughs> and we haven't heard about it since. So. <laughs> Damn it. It was both. <laughs> Because there's no way you're playing through that game and not one of those guys is dying. Like, there's no way. <laughs> like, one of them's gonna die. But um, I reckon, like, that's probably part of it. Like, that they actually have tried to retool it and have just been unsuccessful. They are as well, probably working. Like, and now away next on it gen, and oh, might as well start again. Yeah, fucking wipe it all. Let's do, it, do it again. Let's do oh, it again. We need, we need better textures. <laughs> oh, those textures are so last gen. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I reckon that's what happened to Last Guardian. But like, as I, as I was saying, like you know, that that's the same. Like we could hear about it. Yeah, apparently there was meant to be announcements about it soon. If there wasn't at TGS, I don't know. I I didn't. I haven't read about TGS. Uh, Tokyo Game Show has gone way down. Oh, of course. It's it not is. shit now. 
I haven't been near a computer for the past week, so I I didn't hear anything out of it myself. I saw, I was looking at VG247 there earlier, and I think I saw something from TGS, but the amount of things on VG247 that, you know, all look the same, (laughs) so I I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, like, that's the thing, Sony might, they might be working on this for a long time yet, and we might see it eventually, but who knows. The VR thing now I'm talking about, not The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian, we should see eventually, because if it doesn't come out... It's not going. It's not like at the Half Life Three level of mythic, kind of. We want this now, but people are just like, "Come on, release the fucking game! Like, do it!" You yeah. know. So, but the yeah the VR thing yeah we, we they'll probably do it like if if Oculus Rift takes off, and oh, man, Oculus Rift wait. is going to I know I can't wait for a retail version. Now. I'm probably going to like break down into tears the first time I use it. I'm like, oh my god, it's it's so beautiful. I've always dreamed of it. Oh my god. This porn is amazing, <laughs> but but <laughs> but no, like like really, I just ah, oh, it's, it's gonna be so good. Do you know what? Do you know what the first game you're gonna try on it is? I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. No, you. I'm asking. Uh, well, <laughs> um, oh jeez, I don't know. I suppose DayZ if it comes out would probably be interesting enough. Ooh. Um, what else? What else would be good? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I just want it. I just want it as well. Well, I like I I don't really know the what first man. game I would play on it, but but one game that I like it'll prob well maybe it'll be the first game I play if I have it at the time. Have you seen that EVR or yeah, or that's exactly what I was just gonna say to you. That that that, that, that man, that shit or looks Star Citizen maybe or something. Yeah, uh, like somewhere. so something like that or like oh or some like like really fucking crazy balls fast shooter. Maybe twice. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> or that rip-off Guncraft. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, Minecraft. That'd be weird Fucking as fuck. Fucking Terraria, man. <laughs> Would it even matter, then? It's just like, oh, I got Terraria <laughs> right into my eyes. I'm not getting any extra immersion out of this. I can just, like, lean my head back and lie down and play it. Actually, no, that's... that's yeah, that's genius. <laughs> actually, actually... Combine, combine, right, the Oculus okay. Rift with a Steam controller and a Steam box, and you can just wake up, lie in bed, and game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll just turn my Steam box on from the controller here, left on my bedside locker, and just slide my, you know, my, my <laughs> o- Oculus Rift on. Boom, yeah, just lie here in bed and fucking play with something. One of those, um, one of those uh, chest packs that... <coughs> when you get shot oh. or something. Oh yeah, fuck so like, right, you could be lying, a, li- lying in bed asleep, and you set your alarm clock to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. And seven o'clock in the morning comes and you can bang, 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 and you're like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! Dude, I've got it! Oh, this is genius, right? Th- oh, this is brilliant. Also very stupid, but <laughs> it's brilliant, <laughs> right? <laughs> you. In day Z, stay logged in as your character asleep. <laughs> and with that thing on, and the Oculus Rift. Oh no, I have, I have another idea. I have another idea. Someone right? just shoots you, and you're, ah! And you're like, oh damn, I've just been killed in day Z. <laughs> <laughs> like, it'd be brilliant. You'll probably get a heart. Some people probably die of heart attacks from that, but yeah, so. <laughs> uh, I, I have another idea. Uh, again, the alarm clock idea, right? So you're sleeping, fall, you're 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 sleeping in your bed. Alarm clock comes around, alarm clock goes off, and you're falling off a cliff. <laughs> 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 I said that'll wake you up pretty quick. Yeah. Ah! Do, you, do you ever get? Do you ever get one of those dreams where it was not really a dream, but when you? Well, I always get it when I'm going to sleep first, and I'm only just drifting off, and then I'll just feel like I'm sliding out of something, and I'll just like, Ugh! and just wake up and be like, oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. Yeah, like that. It'd be kind of like that, except way more realistic. <laughs> install, install Steam OS on your on your uh, what's all Google glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wear your Google glass Oculus while Rift. you're in the Oculus Rift? <laughs> you probably could. <laughs> oh, Man. Skip the Oculus Rift all the <laughs> Wait, wait, whoa! Google Glass doesn't have that fucking kind of capability. Oh, I suppose no, it doesn't. It's, it's... But that's what I'm saying. Well, hey, You've got your Google Glasses on, and you're using your Google Glasses to help you in the game in the Oculus Rift with it on <laughs> over your glass. And then it's just like, oh man, <laughs> glasses on, glasses on, glasses. It's like we're in fucking that film. Within a dream, within a dream, within a dream. All oh, right, I thought you were going to say something like the man who wore glasses. <laughs> he wore all of the glasses. 
<laughs> Inception, you mean? Inception, yeah. But, uh, like, yeah, like, it's, it is actually pretty crazy, like, thinking about it, like, you know, we may be joking about it right now, but, well, I don't think Arig got through, it was A-R-A-I-G, as real as it gets, but that was the, the armor thing with the, the bullets, or the, mm. the vibrating parts yeah, that yeah, make yeah. it feel like you got correct hit, uh, hit collision. I honestly don't think that was a great idea right now, because correct hit collision... I don't think it'll take off. Collision, well, I think correct hit collision in, like, a multiplayer game isn't going to necessarily be the most accurate, you know, so... Yeah, I don't think I, it'll take off. I'm not it it Kickstarter didn't make it, so... I don't know. Yeah, the guy who was doing it, though, his dad was funding it, so maybe he's going to just fund the whole thing. Oh, it's daddy. He's daddy. Oh. But, like, it's a cool idea, but it seems like such a two generations ago kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Like, we had a lot of crazy peripherals. Like, the whole, like, rock band stuff and, you mm-hmm. know, like, Guitar Hero, that sort of shit. Or, like, Sing Star with the microphones. Or fucking even, like, the Wii balance board and all that sort of shit. Like, we've had a lot of weird peripherals over the last couple of years. And it's only now a lot of these peripherals are actually starting to look like serious, serious things. Like, like the Rift and, you know, like Google Glass. and Well, it's not a peripheral, but it's a, it's a thing you know, mm. like the Rift, you'll be using it in wearable kind of fashion, but I don't know, the, 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 as real as it gets thing, like, it seems like it just it seems like it came out of the 90s and it looks like, yeah. it, like it was out of an 80s film, like, really, mm. really it does, like, yeah, it looks, kind of, so, yeah. I don't know, but like, you know, we may be joking about the whole thing, but you'll eventually be able to do that like, as I said, like, be asleep as your actual character in Daisy lying there with your Oculus Rift on you know, you fucking, you wake up, you get into your omnidirectional treadmill, pick up your gun, and then start sprinting across the fucking landscape. Like, people will be able to do that. That is such a level of sci-fi. Without, ta- without taking the Oculus Rift off at all. Without taking the Rift off, yeah. <laughs> Just have a bucket in front of you for when you need to piss. Or, like, fucking <laughs> Apple, release the iToilet. Or the iJax, there you go. The iJax. The iJax, <laughs> just hanging off the front of your pants. It's like, it's like a urinal, but... <laughs> <laughs> like model like an iPod thing, but anyway. So, but yeah, I'm I'm telling you, we're we're hitting a serious level of like virtual reality that is is only this year been like available in fiction, you know. And like a lot of this stuff is starting to come true, and it's it's crazy. Like even the treadmill and the rift alone, like those are just phenomenal like i saw that video of your man playing team fortress yeah he wasn't the best player but you know running about and using the rift actually completely changes the game for you if you're going to be playing with the rift and the treadmill you want to be playing against other people with a rifter and the treadmill and a gun or whatever you know well the head is going to need to be separated from the aim yeah that's the main thing if you can't it's going to be impossible if you're aiming with your head well, like, if you think about it, like, look at the way in armor, how you can, like, press alt and look yeah, over your yeah, shoulder yeah. and stuff. Like, that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's what you're going to need. You're going to, like, yeah. you're going to have to aim with your actual gun peripheral. Pretty, pretty well. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. The amount of times I ran in DayZ with just looking over my shoulder. Uh-huh. Uh, should over be, there. Like, all the time, yeah. Yeah, like, like literally, literally every... Helicopter crashes and guys, <laughs> little pixels, little pixels... <laughs> 2,000 meters away that might or may or not move. May or may not want to kill you. Yeah. The pixels want to kill me. (laughs) (laughs) Have you been playing any new games or anything? Have I been playing any new games? Well, I haven't really been near a computer the last week. However, I have had my Android tablet with me. And it's not a new game, but I've been playing fucking Shadow Era. Now, I'm really excited about Hearthstone. It's a trading card, like a, a digital trading card game that's coming out from Blizzard. I haven't played yeah. a Blizzard game really in a yeah. while, and I'm really yeah. looking forward to this. Yeah. And so, yeah. to lead up for that, I've been yeah. playing Shadow Era. So I've yeah. been playing mostly that. I played a few other things yeah. last week when I was near the computer. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Just say me you concur. You go to talk about hardware. <laughs> you start talking about card games. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you just yeah. said if I played yeah. any interesting games. Yeah. Oh, my God. You go back on yourself. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm trying to explain what I've been playing and uh, uh, yeah. card yeah. games. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I was playing Shadow okay. here for a bit on the tablet. It's the only thing I can really play on the tablet, like outside of like shit like Angry Birds, which I think is boring. And you know, like, there's a couple of shite Google Play Store games that I played, but eh, nothing's really caught me yeah. attention. But last week I was playing fucking few retro games. I got Volgar the Viking and Rogue oh, yeah. Legacy. Yeah, they're good fun. They're good fun. I haven't gone really, it's really far. Really hard. Uh, yes and no. 
It's really hard if you like just you're really bad at picking up patterns. If you've you one life for the entire game, or what? Yeah. yeah. Well, sort of. No, you see, with Volgar, right? So you like each level is kind of split into two. I think there's like five or six bosses in the game, mm. and each boss is kind of like two levels, and he's at the end of the second one. Like uh, the first level in Volgar, uh, you go through the level, you get to the end. If you die yeah. at any point in that level, you go right back to the start of the level. When you finish that section and go into a next area, you'll start mm. from there if you die again. So ah, you nervous. finish off that level. Also, I discovered this as I was, I was quite uh, pleased with this. Um, it said at the start of the game, go left if you want to skip ahead. Uh, and I assume it means if you've been further ahead, you'll be able to skip ahead. And I noticed in the first area you go to, a small wall opens when you just spawn in first, if you've been to the second level. Yeah. Uh, and if you jump in the wall, you go straight to the second level. But if you move forward a step at all, the wall closes up. I was like, oh, that's a nice, that's a cool little thing. Like, if you don't notice that's there, you'll have to play through the game all the time. But if you're actually paying attention, you'll find yeah. all these little secret things. And, well, I say it's a secret thing. It says at the start of the game, go left if you want to skip ahead. But that is kind of implied only for that one screen. It's like mm -hmm. a title screen you walk off. The... But, um, yeah, like, other than that, the game's fun. It's very, very, it's like, it's Sega as fuck. <laughs> it's Sega as fuck. Sega as fuck. It's br I love it. The graphic style <laughs> looks like it, like it looks like it could be on a Mega Drive. Like it, I think it's a thirty-two bit game. <laughs> so so like it's oh yeah it's yeah mm, oh brilliant I love it. Uh, it's like very like ghouls and ghosts. Or I've been reading a lot of people have been saying it's like a, an old game called Rastan that was on yeah. arcade machines. I've never played Rastan, but it's very like ghouls and ghosts. So I love it. But uh, I haven't had enough time to play much of it. I've only done the first two levels. Um, I was playing Rogue Legacy as well. Rogue Legacy is somewhat similar. Uh, same kind of uh, deal. It's like 2D. You have one life. When your guy dies, his air takes over. And each air has different traits and abilities which can make the game harder or easier. And they have different classes and different spells. And the object of the game is you go in and you try and get as much money and kill as much shit before you die. And then your air gets all that money and stuff and... Then you upgrade a castle that lets you get more gear and makes it easier to get through and da da da. It's just all about kind of leveling your guys up and it is it's difficult enough, but it's not as difficult yeah. as Volgar. Like it, like Rogue Legacy. After about an hour playing it, I I had the first boss killed. So, and <laughs> like I heard it was meant to be like way harder than that. I was like, yeah, fuck it, that was easy. So I haven't played too much of that either though because I just have not had the time. I've I've not been near my computer for the last couple of weeks, folks. So I haven't had a chance <laughs> to play very much. That's why I've been playing fucking card games. Card Ooh. games. How about you, Willie? What have you been uh, playing? Other than Arma Three, because I've seen uh, you be playing that. I wasn't really. I was more messing around. I was actually what was what I was doing. I was when I was on it last night. I was actually checking my surround sound of my headphones to see if it was working. So I set up. A, oh, I did the Arab. I set up a mission where a helicopter just goes around in a circle, and I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just standing there. Yep, I hear that. <laughs> yep, I hear that. <laughs> yep, I have surround sound, so everything works okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I so just like to, I like to think that you're just there for like an hour by yourself, <laughs> just just there like move over around. a little bit. But helicopter coder, I was like, I hear that. And you're like you're like you've got like the whole area separated out into different parts of a circle. You're like right now, I got to stand at like twelve degrees west by seven degrees north, <laughs> right? Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> just an hour just doing this. That's not that what I imagine like it. it comes from that, 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 that degrees, yes. Um, well, uh, oh, obsessing over Star Citizen and not really playing anything at all. Well, I bought... Um, see, the, the thing about this is, right, I've bought a ship for the game. And I want to buy right. another ship. And the other ship, like, costs, like, 100 quid nearly or whatever. And why I have no idea why I'm doing it, because I don't even like space games. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, 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 I don't even like space games. I've but you've been playing a ton of them recently. I no, I, I've, I'm trying to get into them. And right, so I've downloaded a couple of the X games. It was uh, on the humble bundle, and I just got into it. And like, yeah, it looks cool and all, but yeah, it doesn't. It looks old at the same time, and I'm kind of. I don't really. <laughs> it takes so long, and then mm -hmm. the new X. Uh, well, it's called X Rebirth coming out in November, and I'm probably going to get that. I don't mm. know why. I'm probably going to get it. It looks fucking gorgeous. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably mm, friendlier to new players. Because it looks friendlier. Well, I imagine a newly released game. Because the, the old X games, be, there seems so. to be so much to them. Yeah. It's just like, it's all trading and going from one place to the other, selling stuff. And going, it's like Eve. 
I played Eve yeah, for a couple of months. Yeah, it probably is a bit like that. I haven't played Eve at all, to be honest. I so wouldn't I play Eve yet if I were you, but if you are really interested in, like, a really, really, like, hardcore fucking, yeah. like, experience, like, Eve is, man, I played it for about three months, and what I got sick of was I got I got in with, like, a group of players, which are called Corporations and Eve, and yeah. they, um... They were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're starting a new corporation. You know, come in, there's no obligation to do anything. And as soon as we're in, it's like, right, everybody when you're online needs to be in Ventrilo, and you need to have your proper names, and you need to have this, that, and the other. And I was like, whoa, I'm playing a month. I just want to fucking mine some rocks and make <laughs> a bit of money. And they're like, no, you must do this with the corporation. Ah, so I left them because they were starting wars, and I'm not, hey, I'm I'm a lover, not a fighter. It was a hug. <laughs> I'll give you a violent hug. <laughs> but, like, that's the thing, like, Eve... You kind of like I play a few space games, but it seems like the kind of things like if you know how space games work, because there's so much fucking yeah. stuff. Oh god! But, but go yeah, on anyway. I, sorry, uh, space uh, games. Sorry, yeah. So I've I've been obsessing over Star Citizen, and I bought that ship, which is like the beginner ship. It's the one that gets you into the. It's a package. You can buy like I can buy another one if I wanted for like fifteen quid or something. But this one costs forty, but it comes with the game. And it comes with alpha access and beta access and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, okay. And I can melt down that package at any time and get a bigger ship if I want to. So I think I, I might do that at some stage, get a bigger ship, because I, I, I like uh, a couple of the bigger ones. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm just like all there's no there's no gameplay. They just released a hanger, and you can download the hanger. It's like three, gig, it's like three or four gigs for hanger. Right? You, I, you oh, get into right. the hangar. <laughs> Yeah, you get into the hangar, and you're just walking around the hangar, and your ship is there, and you can get in it, and you can get out of it, and you can get in your fucking tiny... Well, it, this is cool, right? I have to admit, the spaceships look awesome. Like, you get into a spaceship, there's beds, there's toilets, there's everything. It's uh, all... It works like how you probably would be working. Although, actually, I don't know where there's a toilet in my ship, but it is a quite small ship, so I don't know, maybe this is like... A bottle cap or something, a bottle in there somewhere or something. I don't know, but <laughs> it doesn't You've got like all this kind of... advanced technology, yeah, yeah. and all you need is a bottle. There, 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 there is a bed in it, uh, so like it's like this tube. You just open the door and you kind of crawl in the tube, and you're kind of lying down. So it, I think that's kind of cool. And on the bigger, like, there's a ship called the Constellation, uh, which can man four people. It needs mm. four people to actually run the ship. Yeah, and right, if, you, cool. if you if you don't have four friends to run it, you can uh, hire AI guys or that kind of thing, you know? Cool, yeah. And there's like, um, right, so it takes four people, there's four bunk beds that open out. There's a big table that can, uh, once you press a button, it folds out from the wall. And uh, you can all sit around it. There's a big toilet and there's a shower at the end of it. It's, it's huge, like, it's massive. That's pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, and there's even a smaller fighter in it. That ship costs two hundred fifty quid, though. I'm not getting that. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather upgrade my PC a little bit than spend money on it. But see, the thing is, you can get these ships in the game anyway. But it takes so, a lot of work. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even say that. Like there were, I was I was reading about this uh, ship called the Scythe. And you can't actually buy it right now, even if you want. To. I think I think it did go on sale at one point, but you can't buy it now. And uh, apparently, it's owned by this alien race or something like that. And the only way you can get it is by shooting out the ship, uh, but not destroying it and just taking it oh, over and cool. fixing it. That, no, that's good. I I think if you're just able to sell every ship, there should like like they're in Warframe. There's some Warframes and stuff you can only get by playing the game. You can like you can't buy yeah, a Frost yeah. Prime and you can't buy a Mag. Prime. Well, I don't know if you can. Yeah. But you know, well, this, like, you see, this is the thing. it's not free to play, so it's not. It's not going to be free to play a game. It's going to be a bit buy in. Mm, true. Well, it's just at the moment while they're funding it, I think that they're trying to get as much funds as possible. So there's, it looks like a free to play now, but when it yeah, comes out, it won't, won't be. be. Uh, I'm hoping. Hope I don't know. Well, I guess I guess it makes sense. I I don't know. That seems a bit iffy to me. Like I get, I guess yeah, they want to make the game better and everything, but they have made like twenty million on it so far. It's crazy. I like know. nothing might come of it. <laughs> it might end up like not being okay. It probably is, but like, they could go tomorrow and say, okay, I'm not making it anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, we decided to make an army game. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just released like a basic game with a few of the screenshots they had. Right, yeah, here you go. We actually spent most of the twenty million on coke and horse. Uh, so. <laughs> but like yeah I don't know I think it looks I think it looks lovely <laughs> well though when fun. you were telling me when you, I had to say as well when you were telling me that they released the hangar and I was like that's pretty cool 
And you were like, no, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. I didn't realize that only the hangar was there. I thought you meant it was like, oh, yeah, there's a load of space. And here's a hangar now that you can oh, go to. I thought, I was thinking, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just but, a hangar. You walk around, that's it. You look at your ship. Well, I have to admit, the ships do look cool. So it is, uh-huh. it is, it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, they're... Apparently, there's a dogfight now for coming out soon enough, so hopefully there'll be a bit more to it then. Uh, what is oh, Project Cars? I was playing Project Cars today. We're talking about that earlier. It's looking oh so good. It is looking pretty nice now. Yeah. It's looking really good, and I was in it. I was in driving around, racing in multiplayer, and it's oh wow, the sense of speed and overtaking people is just like whoa, yeah, I got through there, and then in the middle of the race, so I lose my internet connection. <sighs> Then it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I I am happy that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just had to crash into it. I was reversing out into the road, and there was about there, I think there was like three or four cars behind me about to come into me. So I probably disconnected and fucked everyone else's race up at the same time. <laughs> so I'm sure well done, happened. well well done. But uh, oh, it's looking like there's no other driving game out there that looks as good as it. I don't uh, think. Anyway. Well, like it, it. I will say I, I haven't bought it. I remember saying ages ago in our old Project Cars yeah. video. That's like yeah, you can't I'll actually go, buy it now. You I'll get to it at some point, but I, I never did. But it does. What I've seen of it, it looks great. Like it looks really nice as far mm. as racing games go. Though you know what looks really nice as far as racing games go. Uh, what's it called again? Next car game. Have you seen that? I uh, yeah. This is the one with the destruction, isn't it? The soft like body, quid. soft body, yeah, 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 physics, yeah. 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 That yeah. looks, yeah, it looks pretty decent, decent enough. I bought a fucking demo of something similar to that. What is it called? Uh, has similar kind of oh beam, beam ng. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you can drive around and uh, test things and uh, put different vehicles and stuff. But yeah, it's basically just an idea. I don't know why yeah. I bought it, but anyway. <laughs> well, the, the I got uh, for buying random shit just. For... Yeah, the fucking game where you destroy that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, next car game. I was looking at the trailer for it. it looks pretty cool. Like yeah. the destruction to um, two cars. In it. the only problem I had with it was the wheels are invincible. <laughs> Everything else like destroys really nice. The <laughs> wheels are like fashioned in God's furnace. <laughs> they do not just get destroyed yeah, I, I ever. See if I can get this for you. There's a there's a video of it that um, puts it through a roller. Yeah, oh, no, I saw it. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, the car just goes through the roller. It gets crushed and uh, it comes out like really flat the other side. And bits but like, and looks cool. the problem with the wheels is like the tires never yeah. tore or anything. They just yeah. like kind of were like, oh, they were always just the same thing. And like, it's like, that's not how it would happen. Yeah. The wheels would go fairly quick. But man, some of the soft body shit in that is really, I think it's soft body physics it's called. Yeah. But, yeah something yeah. like that. But, um, Somewhere... <clears throat> But sorry for, for sorry for my like sporadic cost by the way. I'm coming over after yeah, getting over a cold. So I, I'm yeah, I I've caught the bubonic plague. Mm. <laughs> I'm just coming off that now. So um yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, continue. I spent uh, about that state of decay as well during the week or last uh, How is two it? weeks ago. It's alright. I haven't played much of it, uh, to be honest. I'm gonna play a bit more at some point, but yeah, it looks good. It's good kind of beat them up. But it's early. I think it's. Uh, they're still working on the PC version. Like, there's no uh, mouse and keyboard mm. controls yet, or something. I like heard that. that. I remember when you told me. I was like, "Really? There's no mouse and keyboard controls." You were like, "Yeah." Well. yeah. Was he? I was what? bored. What? I was yeah. bored. <laughs> and I had some <laughs> money, so I said, "I to spend this money. I won't be bored." <laughs> Give me payday. It's payday. <laughs> That's a game we haven't fucking played. I'd be losing money if I didn't buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> because I will at some point buy this. <laughs> but um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I played? I think, because I, I remember I bought a couple of things recently. I got a couple of things in sales. Let me see. Um, I got... I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls recently. We both have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to fucking finish that game, man. We really need to finish it. Pretty we well into it now. We're nearly done. But Are we? yeah, it's getting the yeah. We're nearly done. Okay. We haven't done any of the expansion shite though, so expansion? there's all that expansion. Well, you know how we got Prepare to Die edition? It's yeah. the Prepare to Die content. Ah. Okay. Uh, that's like that's the expansion. It's 
Artorius the Abyss Walker expansion is what it's mm. called. So, so like we got that to do. This is good. What else did we? Even oh yeah, fucking that's what it was. Gary's mod. Gary's mod. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, we were playing Gary's mod for a bit when I had access to a computer there for like a day. Uh-huh. That was fun. <laughs> fucking about. <laughs> fucking about in Gary's mod. Gary's mod is brilliant, though. Like. We spent like basically four hours playing it and just figuring it out. There's <laughs> yeah. still like a load. Like there are some of the things like getting all this. the vehicles, that. like that giant flying penis or a roller coaster. A roller, that. yeah, spawn that. Yeah. Hey, look at this! It's a fucking it's a Google Chrome sign that you can drive. <laughs> Don't get that. Hey, my little pony. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we 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 played a bit of that. It was it was pretty cool. Let's try to get player uh, fucking what was that? Got it to play prop on, but then I think you need Counter Strike for the majority of the levels that seem to be. That awesome. was just the ones we were looking at. I was actually yeah, looking through the. Oh, prop hunt, by the way, if anybody doesn't know what prop hunt is, but you know what Gary's mod is. Prop hunt is, I think it's a new ish game mode. I don't yeah. know. Is it new, Willie? Is I, think, it new? I think it's new ish. Like, new ish uh, is in the last six months. Prop probably. hunt is awesome. We've been trying to actually get a video of prop hunt done. But we can't because can't actually get into the fucking thing. We no, we get into a server, and yeah. it's just error symbols everywhere. <laughs> the, whole, the whole game is purple squares and oh errors. Oh god! Like like wow! Because <laughs> prop hunt is that a prop? Or, or is that a person? People, one team are hunters and one team are people, and the people disguise themselves as um. Uh, the, the props uh, disguise themselves as props, as like models from in the game. Like you can go into a room full of barrels and become a barrel and then just hide there, or you can yeah. go up to a like uh, I I, a I bed. don't know like a bed, become a bed. You you know you can become anything. Now the hunters they've got three weapons, or maybe they can get more. I don't know, but they've got like a crowbar, a machine gun, and yeah. a shotgun, or a pistol and a shotgun, or something like that. Now uh, the crowbar every time they attack, they take five health mm. away. Uh, every time they fire with the shotgun, it's like 25 or something like that. Is it? The, the gun is in between. Well, I th- it looked like Could it. Be, I was yeah. watching a video yeah. on it, and it looked like I thought it. it was maybe, it's, for everything bullet, maybe, yeah. maybe it's not, but yeah. I don't know. Well, like if you think about it, like you can only well, hit so much. The shotgun has a lot of pellets as well. Like, yeah, but you can only hit so much with a crowbar, whereas the shotgun, you can get yeah. a widespread, so you could actually hit a couple of things. But, um, yeah, Let's so the hunters... Today, don't use the shotgun. <laughs> unless you're sure. <laughs> or not sure at all. <laughs> One or the other. Either way. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, like it's pr- it's pretty fun. Like the servers we got onto, we really couldn't play all that well because we were missing so many models. And if you're just seeing error symbols everywhere, and you if you're a hunter and you're seeing error symbols, it's like, right? Well, I don't know what these are, so I, I I have no clue. If you're trying to be a prop and you're trying to be a prop that's an error symbol. Like, you're not going to see that prop, so you're just going to be, like, some <laughs> random prop. So, yeah, it's a little bit hard to play like that. There is, like, a default map for it, but we just ended up messing about in Gary's Mod. That's why we were playing yeah. it. But, um, but yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Anybody who's got Gary's Mod should check it out. Uh, you may need to. You may need Counter Strike for some servers. You may need Team Fortress for some. I, d- I don't know. I don't. I have, have Counter Strike, so I'm fine. I don't come over here at all. But it's 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 on your end. It's on my end. <laughs> well, on there's other end. things as well, like. Uh, Twin, it just come out. Counter Strike goes on sale like fucking five or six times a year. So. Yeah, I'll get it at some point. Just just for that, like specifically mm-hmm. just for Gary's mod. I have no interest in actually playing Counter Strike myself. Um. You should. There's a game. There's a game mode called Zombies. Up to Halloween, it gets very popular. I think it's on Gary's mode as well, though. Yeah, where well. it's like infested. So this one zombie starts out at the beginning of the map, and then yeah. infects another person, and they turn into a zombie. So it ends oh, up with like that. there's like forty or fifty players in the server, and it just it just starts getting crazy towards the end because it's oh, so, no. so many zombies. You you have no idea. They had this in World of Warcraft years ago yeah. before Wrath of the Lich King came out, which is an expansion. Before that came out, they had an event for two weeks called the Undead Plague, where mm. players could pick up a plague that after a certain amount of time it would turn them into a zombie. And then when they were a zombie, they could go around with special attacks attacking other players. But if you attacked a player and you were a zombie, you'd spread the virus to them. So yeah. cities just became a fucking <laughs> living hell. Of fucking zombies ever. It was really like, and you're like running around. It's like, yeah, did I I'm just go to quest? And all of a sudden, like fifty uh. zombies run out of a town. It's like, ah, it was good fun at the same time. But it was, it was like by no means. It was based on an event that happened called the Corrupted Blood Incident, yeah. which was 
uh, a fuck it. it was a similar thing that happened years ago a boss had this debuff and people were able to go to a big city and summon a pet of theirs and it would have this debuff and it spread it to everybody and then everybody would die it was like an epidemic it was a digital epidemic like <laughs> literally ep- epid- epidemiologists fucking study it to this day to see like because some people were like willingly spreading the virus some people were helping other people were <laughs> retreating to remote locations and they're like people use this as like a, a thing to see like how people would actually react in an, an epidemic situation it's like it was pretty cool, but then they did like a controlled version of it, which was the zombie plague, and that was that was quite fun. It's it's pretty much the same thing as you're saying, except it's on a server yeah. of thousands, persistent, like for two <laughs> solid weeks. So yeah, it got quite fucking annoying after a while. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I meant to say, we were just talking about Counter-Strike as a shooter. There is a shooter that came out recently that I'm very, very, very excited <coughs> for. Uh, oh. Do you know what it is, Willie? I'm a sure shooter. I linked you I linked you a bunch of videos. It's a single-player shooter, though. Oh, it's the one that's kind of old-fashioned shooter. <gasps> Shadow Warrior. Shadow, Shadow Warrior. Warrior. What? Yeah. Shadow Warrior. Have you not seen that? Holy uh, balls, it looks amazing. I mean, I fucking... I'm pretty sure I linked you videos for it. I you've got look up the you've got Wang trailer. Got They've got an or look up the like the realistic fish physics trailer as well. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> With realistic fish physics, fully destructible bicycles. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm but uh, yeah, Shadow Warrior has just come out there last. What is it now? It's the 29th. It came out on the 26th. Uh, Shadow Warrior is like a recreated uh, version of a game years ago called Shadow Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it now. Uh, you've, see, you've seen it, yeah? You know the... Yeah. yeah. Uh, the original Shadow Warrior I've actually been playing recently as well. Um, it's completely another... You remember Duke Nukem 3D? Yeah. It is Duke Nukem 3D, except you're called Lo Wang and not Duke Nukem. There's, there's a brilliant bit in it. Is that co-op? It. Is, that? is it Sorry. co-op? The, the new one isn't, and I don't know about the old one. There could be a mod to make it co-op. So I, I have no idea. But the old, the old one's quite fun. Um, but uh, there's a great bit in it where, uh, in true kind of Duke Nukem style, Lo Wang, your character, he's sort of similar, except he uses a sword. But there's a bit where I, I went up to this mm. anime girl. I think everybody looks like they're out of Duke Nukem, but there's like random women around the place who are uh, nearly naked and they're all anime. And I went up to this one anime girl who was washing in a waterfall, and Lo Wang went up to her and he was like, oh. You want to wash Wang? Or you want to watch <laughs> Wang? Wash Wang. <laughs> and then she takes out a newsie. <laughs> starts shooting you. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. fair enough. I, hey, it's fair enough. That was unwarranted <laughs> attention. But, uh, you know, no, I'm looking forward to the new one. I Like I said, I haven't bought it yet. I meant to pre-order it like a couple of days before. But um, I just mm. I couldn't. I wasn't near a PC. But, yeah, it looks amazing. Oh, I've, I've played... Uh... Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons as well. That's very good. I thought. Oh yeah, good. you were saying. Have you finished it? Yeah, I finished it. It's not a long game. It's only uh, maybe three, four hours, maybe max. There you go. Yeah, it's great. Um, well, it's, it's one of the, it was one of the better games I've played this year, definitely. Yeah. Gameplay-wise, it's it's very good. It's interesting. Well, like right, so you're playing with a, you, you can only play with a controller, right? Hmm. And you can play with them keyboard as well but it'd be I'd imagine that'd be very hard because you got to control one with either stick yeah it? yeah that's how it works yeah. and it's an interesting concept like no other game really does that so you control mm. one character with one stick and the other character with the other stick and you use like uh, LB and or RB and LT uh, trigger buttons as action sim action buttons for on the right side for the right character and on the left side for the left character so okay. it, yeah, it's kind of cool. Like so, one guy like you'd move him over to like um, a ladder, and uh, you'd pick it up with the LT and bring it over, and or like he could one person carry a uh, eh, push a cart on the back, and the other one kind of pull it. So yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. It's 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 definitely interesting, and the art style is really good. I liked it. Yeah, it's got, I like I've seen a little bit of it. Like I, I think I saw a trailer or something, and yeah, the, I, I like the art style to it. It's pretty, it's pretty kind of whimsical, kind of fairy tale, but mm. also kind of dark at the same time. Oh yeah, so, it is. I, so I, I, was, I was letting the kids play it, 
And yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise it was for over six days. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a really great kids game. And then I was kind of playing it later on. And I was like, oh, this is kind of took a turn for the worst. <laughs> Look, <laughs> like, it doesn't matter, right? When I was four, my favourite movie was Robocop. Do you know how much blood is in that movie? There's a dude gets his dick shot off, right? I know, I it's know. fine. Kids can handle a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Like I, I mean, damn, four dude got his dick oh, shot. No, there was like there was uh, no, there was a guy. Like, you know, it started getting dark in one particular spot, like, and uh, there was a guy like he, he literally hung him, so he was hanging from a rope. <laughs> I was like, ooh, okay, pause. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. That is kind of gruesome, <laughs> but um, the whole level was like full of people with. They were hanging from trees. It's like, okay. <laughs> What's wrong with those people? Um, I don't, they're can't. asleep. They've got a cold. <laughs> They've got a cold. <laughs> They've got don't a cold. get sick, kids. Don't get They've sick. They've got a cold. <laughs> so he hung himself. <laughs> He's just. If that's a special breathing rope, yeah. it opens the airways. It's like Vic's vapor rub, except <laughs> a noose. <laughs> I suppose that worked though, but um, yeah. um, <laughs> definitely get rid of your cold. Anyway, uh, looping back around to the start of our conversation now, though, uh, well, near the start of it, the Steam controller, I think, would be perfect yeah. for a game like that because it's so symmetrical. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I was actually. This is actually mm. a good point. Somebody brought up in like I think it was PC Gamer or something. I was reading the comments on one of the things. Somebody brought up a good point that this is the perfect controller for left-handed people. Because it's completely symmetrical. So that yeah, okay. any controller would be alright for. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, Xbox was one as well. The Xbox wouldn't be as much, but I mean, like you know, I've never seen a left-handed Xbox controller. Have you? <laughs> I've never. I suppose like it doesn't really matter. You're going to learn. It wouldn't really uh, matter because you'd just switch your thumbs. Like you'd have your thumb. <coughs> I, I have one in my hand right here, so I'm just imagining. Like I could work that, just the opposite way around. Hmm. No, but I'm saying there, is, so there, there, there matter, isn't. There isn't. No, I'm, not, I'm saying there isn't left-handed Xbox controllers. I know, so well, I just wonder, like, how much of a. I just wonder. Hey, look! I'm not left-handed. You're not left-handed. <laughs> we don't know the plight of the lefties. Hey, our, our like our you left-handed brethren out was, there, I was, I was, brethren. The Fucking was, was everybody, tell Willie he's shite if you're left-handed. I was, re- I was reading a story to th- or a comment on something weird I was looking at and this guy he went into a coma and he woke up left handed so you know <laughs> what he was right handed before said coma and he woke up and he was left handed so you know okay that's now, Jared. <laughs> look if I wake up left handed you're getting such a left handed slap okay <laughs> And also, I don't like this insinuation that I might end up in a coma. <laughs> what have you got planned? <laughs> but, uh, okay. but uh, look, look, I don't know. Left-handed people, they might have some problem with it. I'm just going off what a comment said. But the thing is, yeah. Like, yeah, it's perfectly symmetrical. So, you know, that could be a thing that, like, left-handed people may not, if they have problems with it, may not with this because it's the same for everybody. Yeah. If you think about it, like, look at the PS3 controller. The PS3 controller yeah. is symmetrical. So, yeah. you know, I imagine there wouldn't be any problems really with that. Well, other than the buttons. Like, the buttons are different. But, eh, I, suppose always... I really don't think to be a problem, though. It would... I don't think there's a need for a left-handed x You know, like, I, I'm just imagining... I'm not, I'm not like, saying there is. There. I'm not saying and there put is. Your, put, your, put your left thumb on a bit lower where the D-pad is and your right thumb up with it. I think it would be the same thing. It, it probably will be. Around. I don't know. I'm saying in case there is a problem, okay? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's making it. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm the one making them out out of the molehill. But you're a dick, okay? <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, uh, I reckon we we'll we we'll leave it here. Uh, thanks I for listening, so. folks. Thanks for listening to our fucking drivel. Um, dick. Uh, you're a dick for calling me a dick. Dick. You're a dick. 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 Well, this is how we're going to end it. We're going to end it calling each other dicks. For yeah. five minutes solid. Fucking dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs>